So to get started on your Amy Sherald portrait, these are the materials you'll need. A piece of blank paper, your black and white printed picture of yourself that takes up most of your paper. We don't want it to be too tiny. We want it to take up most of our paper. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, a thin black marker, like a fine point Sharpie, scissors, and glue. Then later we'll be adding color to this. So you'll need some coloring materials like markers and colored pencils. You could also use paint or crayons or oil pastels if you have those. So we're going to cut out our head shape and our hair shape as well as our neck shape. So here's one that I've cut out. So I've cut out my hair, I've made kind of a curve around my neck, and of course I have my head shape. Amy Sherald always uses gray scale on her skin tones and hair. So that's why we're using a black and white picture of ourselves, and we're gonna end up drawing our shirt and our background and adding color to that. So first thing is you want to carefully cut out your hair shape and head shape. And I'm going around my hair and I have long hair, so I want to include the entire shape that's showing in my picture. If you have shorter hair, you're just gonna start at where that hair shape is up here. So I'm just cutting around. And if you have some pieces of hair that are kind of sticking out a little bit, and there's just a little bit of hair, feel free to cut those off and just make it an easier shape to cut out. But we do want it to look like your hair. We want it to resemble you. So don't give yourself a new haircut. Cut out the hair shape that you have. So I'm not leaving any extra parts of my picture in like this as an example. That is not close enough. We want to get as close as we can to the hair without really cutting much of it off. So this may take a little while. You want to take your time with this. And even right here, I have a little bit of black on my sweater. I'm going to cut that off. Now I want to go in and because it cuts off my hair here, I'm just going to cut a straight line and I'm gonna cut around my hair shape. Now, when I get up here to my neck, I'm going to cut kind of in a curved line. I wanna cut off the shirt collar because I'm going to draw that on. So notice I'm making kind of like a curve, almost like a smile curve for the neck. I'm going to go across and then I'm going to cut down to make the rest of my hair shape. We don't want any of the white border showing. So now I think I did a pretty good job. I could make this a little bit more like a shirt collar line there and even it out. The next step is putting your picture on your paper and tracing it. So I'm going to hold down my picture with one hand and trace with my other hand. I'm just lightly doing this in pencil all the way around the picture shape. and you want your picture to line up with the edge of your paper. If you have shorter hair and your hair doesn't go all the way to the bottom, then you're just gonna wanna put your, your head in the middle of your paper. So just kind of guess where the middle is. You don't want it to be too close to the bottom. We need to leave room for your shirt. We also need some room above your head for the background. All right, so when I take off my picture, I can see an outline of my head shape and hair shape. Now, your next step is drawing your shoulders. If we look at the picture that we cut out, we can kind of guess where the shoulder lines will be. So I'm gonna line that up and it's about right here. So I'm just drawing a little dashed line with pencil. And 
shoulders don't come out straight. They're gonna come down sort of at a diagonal. So kind of a diagonal line and curve, a diagonal that curves a little bit. Now let's add some details to our shirt. You can add a collar around your shirt or like a ring. I know the sweater that I was wearing had that and even some texture on that. So when we look at Amy Sherald's work, she loves to elaborate on the clothing that the people in her portraits are wearing. The clothing tells us something about the person. It's very colorful. And she also will include symbols about the person in her work. So here's an example of what I did for my portrait. So my shirt will be colored in and I drew some paint drips that I'm gonna color in brightly to show that I really like art. I have my dog Teddy hanging out here on my shoulder. My background has a pattern on it. I love black and white checks. So I'm gonna color that in black and white but you need to think about what you can tell people about you through your art. So you need to include at least one symbol about you. That could be your pet, it could be a sports team you like, it could be a character you like, it could be a favorite food, it could be anything. It just has to be something about you. Your shirt shouldn't just be colored in one color, it should tell us something about you. Maybe it has a pattern on it. Maybe it has multiple colors that you like. Your background could tell us something about you too. It could even be a place that you like. This is all about you and you are supposed to tell your viewers who you are through your art. So the next steps after you draw what's in your background and what's on your shirt, you're gonna use your black marker to outline those pencil lines. And we're not gonna glue our picture on until the very end. So I'm just gonna leave that space blank because it's hard to draw around a paper that's glued on because the surface becomes a little bit raised and you're likely to rip your picture. So you're gonna wanna put your picture somewhere safe and come back to that later. So right now I'm going to work on outlining and then I will add color. outlined all my drawings, I can go ahead and erase any of the extra pencil lines that are showing through my outlines. And notice that I didn't outline the drawings that go through my hair shape. So if that happens to you on yours, you don't have to outline that because you're going to cover it with your picture. I also did not outline the shape I drew of my picture. I'm just gonna leave that in pencil. I don't really want it to have a dark black outline, so just leave that part in pencil, and then when you put your picture on top, you're really not gonna see that pencil outline. But if you had a black outline, it probably would show up. So we're gonna leave that in pencil, and then I'm going to go ahead and add color. And I want my color to be, to be super vibrant and bright, like the work of the artist, Amy Sherald. So bright, colorful clothing. You need at least one symbol about you and a colorful, detailed background. Now that everything is colored in, the last step is to glue our picture onto our portrait. So I'm going to use my glue stick and add glue on the back of my picture. You want to work quickly with this so that the glue does not dry. And make sure you go around 
the entire shape of your picture. Once you're ready to put it on your paper, remember you need to line up the edges if you have long hair like mine and try to put it exactly in the spot that you outlined. So work carefully when you're doing this and you can kind of push it over a little bit if you need to. If it's not in the right spot before it dries, you can remove it. You have about a minute or two before it's going to stick to your paper fully. So. Give it a nice massage. Make sure that it's staying on the paper and you can, you can hold your paper upside down and shake it. And if your picture stays, then it is stuck for good. So we don't want any edges coming up like this. So I'm gonna add a little bit more glue here. And then I am done with my Amy Sherrill portrait. I hope you had fun with this project, learning about the African-American artist, Amy Sherald, and creating your own portrait inspired by her. All right, have fun, artist.